residents are walking into a classroom with a year's worth of knowledge and skills that they would only get if they'd been teaching for a full year. And so they are walking in with so much more than what a normal, normal student teacher. All the little tricks and little tidbits that you get from being in the classroom day in and day out, Amanda has that now. <laughs> I've gotten much more comfortable this year. I feel a lot more confident in management and just having connections with the kids. Also various teaching strategies to pull from. And it's been great because I did a lot in the beginning of the year and that was a really good time to kind of, we really talked about th how things were going and what I could do differently. And then the extended time I could actually try things again and again and again and had all this practice to kind of fine tune certain things and then just keep getting more comfortable as the year went on. So I feel like knowing the things that were really hard for me this year, both professionally and personally, I can have a plan in mind and know what I have to do next year because I, I know it's not gonna be picture perfect and I can kind of make these strategies ahead of time so that I can take care of myself and my kids the best way I can. It's, it's annoying, I'm sure, for her, but she's considered like the mini me because we are so similar and we're almost interchangeable in the classroom. Um, and that's kind of cool, but I know that's annoying as well. It's not annoying to me. Oh, well, oh, <laughs> should be. It yeah, it should, should be. be. Um, <laughs> when I answer the phone, or it's like they don't know if it's me or her talking, so apparently we sound similar. And it is, it's like you said, we've gotten better this year too at being able to just pick up where the other person left off, which has been great for when we were co teach. So Amanda's mentor next year, which she will have a mentor next year through because the state requires it. Um, her mentor is going to have to work, but not work near as hard. And also, you know, that's, that helps the school, that helps that classroom. It takes the burden off of, of other teachers and keeps them in the classroom. Next year, I will be living in Charlotte and teaching at Mount Gallant Elementary in Rock Hill, and I'll teach fourth grade a self-contained class. So we will keep in touch, um, if not daily. We've already, we already need to book our monthly meeting in the middle um, appointments is, is what I'm calling them, but they're not really. Um, but yes, I mean, and she's also such a part of my family. I mean, my child loves her. She came to her dance recital. So yes, we will keep in touch. We've also talked about how when I move in, she's scheduled to come up for the time after I move in to help me set up my classroom and get everything in order. And she just volunteered herself. So I'm very happy to have the extra hands and have her to just work through my craziness when that is all going on. So this lady, she's very smart and she's really good at the English language and she's an <laughs> expert reader and writer, but we need to talk about how she calls the restaurant Chipotle, Chipotle. I and do. Thank <gasps> you. I do you, you really? I surveyed all of our kids, not all of them, I surveyed uh, a much. lot of kids on how to say that word and I mean it was unanimous. So you're wrong, I'm sorry. It Love drives you still, her but crazy. <laughs>